Hello, in this video I'm going to take you through how to set up a practice session in CyberDojo so that you can submit an exercise we've set for you uh, to us. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually navigate to the site. So our CyberDojo server is bluefruit.cyber-dojo.org. Once there, you want to create a new practice session by clicking on the Create a Practice Session button. This should take you to a page where you can choose uh, what language you want to complete the exercise in and what unit test framework you want to use. So for mine today, I'm going to pick C++ and the Clang++ variety, and I'm going to use Google Test. Then hit the Next button. This will then take you to a page where you can choose what exercise you want to do. Uh, so we would have told you what exercise to do, but for today, I'm going to pick FizzBuzz and then click OK. You'll now be shown the practice session ID. So this is the ID you're going to need to send to us. Hit OK. And then you'll be ready to actually enter the practice session. So to enter it, you hit Start and you'll be assigned an animal. It's a good idea to send us this animal as well when you send us your practice session ID. After you're assigned an animal, hit OK, and you'll actually be taken into the exercise. So in this screen in the middle, we have the code window where we can actually type our code to complete the exercise. Down the left, we have a list of files. So we have our source files, our accompanying test files. There's also the instructions for the exercise. So if you can't remember what you're trying to accomplish, you can always click here and look at the instructions. And then down at the bottom, there's a set of three special files. So the output, which is currently blank, will be the result of actually running your tests. The cyberdojo.sh file is the file which is executed by the server to actually run the tests. And as this uses make, it calls a make file. And this is the make file to build the actual executable. Up at the top, we have some buttons here, which allows to either create new files, rename or delete files. And the top button is the test button. So this will take all of the code which you've written, send it off to the server where the server will build it, run the test and return you the result in the output window. So if you click the test button, you'll get the little spinning cyber dojo symbol and then you'll get a result back. So here I can see that I've run my tests and I have a failing test, which is not surprising. The default is for a failing test. And it will tell me what what test has failed, the line where it's failed, and then the actual failure condition. Along with that, when it's run, it also gives you a little indicator up here. I have a traffic light symbol showing that this is uh, failed, so it's a red traffic light. If I was actually to go and make it pass, so this is expecting 42, uh, but in our actual code, we're returning something else. So let's make it return 42 and run the tests. Then that should pass all the tests. And I'll get a green traffic light. So the three, there are three options with the traffic lights. Red means there's a failing test. Green means all your tests are passing. And amber means there's been some sort of error. So either a compilation error or something else has gone wrong. So that is it for the moment on how to actually set up a practice session. In the next video, I'll take you through a run through of unit testing.